story tonight taking a stand on vaccines. Governor Lamont says he supports getting rid of the religious exemption for childhood vaccinations. Connecticut has seen a 25% increase in patients using the religious exemption amid the first measles outbreak in the U.S. that we've seen here in decades. Our chief capital reporter Susan Raff is live in Wethersfield now with the latest on that issue. Susan? Denise, some Democratic lawmakers have been talking for a while now about getting rid of the religious exemption. Today, Governor Lamont is standing with them, saying it is the right thing to do. Now, when it comes to vaccinations, Connecticut ranks pretty high with a very good compliance rate. However, more than 100 of our schools have fallen below necessary guidelines. You know, sometimes legislatures like to wait until the emergency and then act. Uh, wait for the bridge to go down, wait for that measles epidemic. And uh, that's not the way you deal with public safety. Governor Lamont doesn't want to wait for a health crisis. He supports a ban on religious exemptions. Lamont recently overruled his health commissioner, who chose not to release the latest school by school vaccination data. Now they appear to be on the same page. Children going to school are entitled to learn in a healthy environment safe from disease. The plan would be for all children attending public school to be vaccinated by October 2021, unless there's a medical reason. Children who, are, who have comp compromised immune systems and cannot be vaccinated uh, need, to be, need to be protected. To mandate untested liability-free pharmaceutical medical interventions on the public is morally wrong. But vaccines continue to draw intense criticism from those using the religious exemption. Some even claim lawmakers have close ties to pharmaceutical companies. Let's say you did get rid of the religious exemption and a couple, a couple hundred children were then uh, received vaccinations as a result of the law change. So 300 people getting vaccinated in Connecticut is going to change what for a company? It's sort of a silly argument. Republicans say we need to have a discussion. I'm glad to see that we're doing it through a very public and transparent process, unlike what was tried to be done in the first session last year. Last year, two Democratic lawmakers were talking about legislation that would get rid of the religious exemption. We're expecting that to happen again, but this time we are told there will be public hearings, so hopefully some transparency on that. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, religious leaders weigh in, and you'll also hear from more parents. We are live in Weathersfield, Susan Raff, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.